responsibility. And the company that will be presenting this award is absolutely no stranger to social responsibility. MTN recognizes that their employees and customers are part of the same communities and therefore committed to finding ways to ensure that they uplift those communities. Launched in 1994, the MTN Group is a multinational telecommunications group operating in 21 countries in Africa, Asia and the Middle East. To present the 2020 Ubuntu Award in Social Responsibility, please help me welcome on to stage the Group Executive of Corporate Affairs for MTN, Ms. Nompilo Morafo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I stand and I'm going to stand on existing protocol. Um, it is my honor to be handing out this award today. MTN is not only the number one company in Africa, but we do take our social responsibility very seriously. As previous winners of an Ubuntu award ourselves, it is an honor indeed to be presenting this award. Tonight's winner is Dr. Henny Elbana. Dr. Hani Albana has founded several charities, including the Humanitarian Forum, Islamic Relief, and the Muslim Charities Forum. He has visited over 60 of the world's poorest and most vulnerable countries on behalf of these organizations. Amongst his many achievements, he has been awarded the Order of the British Empire, OBE, the Ibn Khaldun Award for Excellence in Promoting Understanding Between Global Cultures and Faiths in the UK, and the UK Muslim Power 100 Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you very much. Mr. President, right honorable ministers and diplomats, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to travel from Birmingham to be honored to be with you tonight. I did not expect it because I don't deserve it. The missing factor here with us tonight is many, many, many lives lost in despair, destitution, displacement, war, and other calamity affecting humanity. The people who deserve to stand here next to every and each one of us are the children of the world, the children of humanity. When we talk about them, but sometimes we don't feel the agony they have. When we can see them as images, but we don't see them as human beings, as lives, dreams, aspiration, and joy, and future. The people deserve to be here today with us are our children from Africa, our children from Asia, our children from Latin America, our children everywhere. You can see children now of Syria are living in the middle of the snow where there is no tent, there is no pair of shoes. There's no clothes, no shirt for each and every one of them. So really, the people who deserve this award is not myself. It is every child supported me to stand up and to be elevated, to be standing amongst you, to be standing next to you. Without them, we could not have come here today. Without them, we could not have had this feeling, this vision, this drive, this commitment, this love. Your heart is big enough for seven or eight billion people. God has created the capacity of the heart, of the mind, of the soul, of the spirit for every 
human being on earth. Please use the capacity of your heart to accommodate every human being and every being created by Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. My last statement to you, if you live for other, you live forever. If you live for other, you live forever. Please, please live for every child. Every child who lost a parent, every child who lost his or her dream, every child that you look up at you and feel that you are his or her savior. I love you. I love you, South Africa. I love Africa. I love every and each one of you. God bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.